What is absolutely essential for your middle school writers in your writing workshop? Well, actually, there's more than just one essential component. Today, I'm going to talk about the five must-haves for your writing workshop classroom. So if you stick around to the end, I have a special giveaway for you that I want to tell you about. And I'm really excited to share that with you. Hey there, I'm Kathy Harsh, creator of Teach to Write for Middle School, where you can get the tips and tricks to help your middle school writers to improve their writing skills and keep your sanity at the same time. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. If you're returning, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And please share this out with other middle school teachers who might need some ideas or some extra help or some tips with teaching writing. If you're new here, hi, thanks for checking out the channel and I hope you consider subscribing as well. So let's start with the five essential components that you must have to create a writing workshop in your ELA classroom. I'm going to explain each one of these in more detail in a moment, but here they are all together. Time to write daily, writer's choice, exploring a writer's voice, building a community of writers, and you as the mentor teacher. Writers need to write every day. Now, not the whole class period. That would be really difficult to manage. However, you can fit in writing anywhere within your class period daily routine. To find out more about how to schedule time in a writer's workshop, click on the video here. Writing can occur during bell ringers, at the beginning of class, during the mini lesson and with writing sprints and projects during workshop time. To start off with each day, my writing students use writing journals because it helps them to have a space to think before they face that blank computer screen. Now, you may be thinking, when do they read? <laughs> I do have my students reading in my classes, but the purpose changes the purpose is more to focus on making them better writers, but they need to read in order to learn to write well. However, their focus for reading is to become better writers, but writers need to read to learn how to write well. I use my state standards as a guide to the skills writers have to have in order to be better readers and writers. And with this channel, I'm hoping to show you how I weave all that together, both writing and reading in my writing workshop classes. The second must have is writer's choice. To keep your student writers motivated, you want to build in choice whenever and wherever possible. Just to clarify though, you don't have to give them choices for everything. For one thing, that would be as overwhelming as shopping on the cereal aisle at your local grocery store. There's too many choices. So I gradually build in these choices over time as students gain skills and understand how a writing workshop works. I introduce a concept and then I give them a couple of choices on how they want to practice that concept. When I give a writing assignment, I'll give them one choice in either one choice in either topic, genre, audience, or mode of writing. If you need writers to complete an assignment or activity within a certain time period, let them know ahead of time. Let them know they can turn in an excerpt if they want to write something longer than you expect. That happens sometimes. Of course, this is not always possible. They need to learn how to write within certain time parameters. So let writers practice these through timed writings or word sprints. One way to help writers with choice is to have them do listing activities frequently. They could even have a section in their writing journals just for lists of ideas. Another way to help students with choice writing is to teach them the five tricks that break writer's block. That's going to be a future video that's coming very soon. The third must have is exploring writer's voice. The ultimate goal for me as a writing teacher is to help my students find their writer's voice. From helping writers with word choices and composition to publishing their writing to share with others, we help our middle schoolers build the self-confidence and grit needed. To establish voice, we have to play with words, play with how they sound, how they're arranged in a sentence or poetry. 
what images they conjure up and how those words make us feel. I want my students to explore the topics that are important to them personally and to explore how they'll share their ideas with other people. For encouraging students to participate in small group sharing to author celebrations, writers need the opportunity to see that their writing voice matters. There are so many different ways for kids to publish safely online. Edublogs, Adobe Spark, Google Sites, Flipgrid, lots of places. Writing Workshop allows writers to bring pieces of writing through the writing process to share with others their unique multimedia sometimes creations. Not all writing goes through this process, only those pieces that we feel demonstrate learning, but this is where choice comes into play, allowing students different opportunities to choose what they'll share and how they'll share it. The fourth must have for a middle school writing workshop is building a community of writers. Middle school students are very social, but even the quiet writers need to socialize often with other writers. This component of the writing workshop for middle school is what makes this model an actual workshop. Students share their writing with each other throughout the class period. Usually I allow for natural partnerships and groups to form. However, at the beginning of the year, when they're not used to each other, I often pair up students for short activities. And this helps everyone to feel a little bit more comfortable with each other. Now, to get that started off, I use something called a name game. One way that I build this community of writers is to play that name game at the beginning of the year. We all stand in a circle, and I use this little cush ball or a stuffed animal. I start tossing the ball underhand to a student, and the student says my name, and then their own name, and then throws the ball to another student that says my name, the first student's name, and then their own name. We'll repeat this until we're about seven students in, and I start getting confused about who's who. So I ask them to toss it back to me again, and we start all over again. They all start out being self-conscious, but in the end, they end up laughing and smiling by the end of the game. So I'll repeat this game several times during the first week of school, and they really love to watch me struggle remembering all their names. Side note, students that do not want to participate in the name game are not forced to participate. I wouldn't do that to them. Share time is another way to build in community during writer's workshop. Writers complete a bell ringer activity as soon as they enter our classroom. These bell ringers are projected up on the screen and students write for like two to five minutes. After this, I ask students to turn and talk to a neighbor about what they wrote. Sometimes this writing is a review from the previous day or another activity that goes along with the skill we're learning, but other times it's a pre-writing activity that helps them break through writer's block. So getting that feedback is really important. We also share during many lesson times and in between workshop activities. Another way that I build community in my classroom is writing a letter to my students. To help students get to know me as a community member, I write a letter to them and they write back to me. It's their first assignment. This relationship building between my students and me within that first week is so important. This also gets them into the swing of writer's workshop. My students really love this letter writing activity. I've done it over the past 24 years. It's a hit every year and establishes the tone and mood of our workshop. I'll be having a video soon about that here on the channel, so be on the lookout for that. It's going to be called My Best First Writing Assignment. It's also on my blog, so if you need to get to it sooner, that's where it is. You can find the link to my blog down in the description box below. Building a community of writers also helps with social emotional learning as well. Other ways that you can build community within your classroom is through escape rooms and author celebrations. The fifth must have is the teacher as writing mentor. One of the most important components of writing workshop in the middle school is you, the writing teacher. To teach writing well, you need to write along with your students. 
over the years, I've written on transparencies. I used to have blue ink going down my arm. I used a document camera and I film myself writing sometimes. All of these methods work. Generally, I write along with the students during the Bellringer activity, but I do use pieces of writing I've written prior to class. A lot of times I practice prior to class. Additionally, I show students my writing projects, both published and unpublished, during lessons. They see pictures of my journals. I even share some of my YouTube videos with them. My students listen to me read aloud from stories I've written or published. In fact, I'm a published author because of my students. They're the ones who pushed me to publish my first young adult novels. Also, by completing the writing assignments that you assign, you'll be able to empathize with and anticipate the writer's struggle with each assignment that you give. During writing conferences, you can share your expertise to help students celebrate their strengths and how to overcome their challenges. This is where you shine as a writing teacher mentor. This is also where you save tons of time by using this time to assess and grade student work as well during that writing conference. When you write with your student writers, you'll be amazed at how this creates a bond with your students that lasts a lifetime. I still have former students who message me on Facebook or post about being in my class. Some of these former students are in their 30s. There you have it, the five must-haves of a middle school writing workshop. Thank you so much for staying until the end. I promised a special giveaway if you stayed, so here it is. It's the free five-day challenge to transform your ELA course into a vibrant writing workshop that engages students and saves you time and frustration. I give you five free videos with my best systems to set up a writing workshop environment in your classroom. The challenge comes with a digital workbook that gives you space to plan out your writing workshop for the upcoming year. The writing workbook is also free. You'll learn how to set up a daily writing workshop schedule, creating a filing system, planning your year, creating your classroom management system, and developing your grading system. This challenge can be completed on your own time, so you don't have to tune in for a webinar at a particular time. This five-day challenge is free, all of it. Click on the link below in the description box. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next Monday, where I'll be talking about writing journals.